Dear viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, a problem is solved on computation of income from other sources. Kindly watch the video till then. Like it, share. If you have any comments about the video, please put your comments in the comment box. Now, let's move to the whiteboard. This is an example of uh, computation of income from other sources. The question is like this. Kumar Swami, let me stretch here. Kumar Swami is a member of member of parliament. He gives you the following details for the previous year. 2019-20 salary rupees 10,000 per month and daily allowance rupees 60,000 for the year 36,000 10% Rupees, rupees seven thousand two hundred interest received on bonds of unlisted securities ten percent fixed deposits. Rupees one lakh fifty thousand in Bank of India winnings from lotteries rupees seventy thousand in the bracket net winnings from. Crossword puzzles rupees forty thousand on one nine of two thousand nineteen. He purchased he purchased a plot of land. The plot was let out at rupees two thousand per month. He has let machinery and furniture at a monthly rent of rupees at a monthly rent of rupees to five thousand during the year. He spent rupees two thousand for repairs and rupees one thousand. For insurance depreciation allowable as per rules rupees three thousand. He lives in a rented house paying monthly rent of rupees five thousand. One fourth of the house, one fourth of the house is sublet at a monthly rent of rupees two thousand. 
thousand per month into monthly rent of rupees two thousand. During the year, during the year he spent rupees four thousand for repairs and rupees one thousand for insurance. Dividend on shares of on shares of Indian company rupees twelve thousand royalty received on novel return rupees twenty five thousand income from Undisclosed sources rupees thirty five thousand amount received from family pension scheme rupees sixty thousand following deductions. Are claimed by him collection charges on dividend rupees two hundred cost of lottery tickets rupees four hundred traveling expenses. For collection of all the above incomes, rupees two thousand. Compute the income from other sources for the assessment year two thousand twenty twenty one. So solution. Computation of income from other sources. Name of the SSE. Mr. Kumar Swami. Previous year two thousand nineteen twenty. Assessment year twenty twenty one. So now let us have discussion on the problem here one by one. So salary rupees ten thousand per month received as MP is chargeable tax, whereas a daily allowance is totally exempt from the tax under section ten sub section seventeen. Then interest on taxable debentures is to be crossed up. Then interest on bonds is to be crossed up. Then interest on fixed deposit is rupees. Uh, it will be fifteen thousand here, which is taxable here. Winnings from lottery net is gone. We need to cross up. Then on one nine two thousand nineteen, so he has purchased in the month of uh, September here. So from September he is eligible to collect the rent here. So, so September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So seven months rent he can collect here. Then he has uh, income from uh, letting of machinery and furniture is taxable and the expenses on the same are deductible. Then he lives in a rented house. Income from subletting is chargeable tax, and the expenditure incurred on the same is uh, deductible. Dividend on shares of Indian company is exempted. Royalty received on novel is chargeable tax. Income from undisclosed sources is chargeable tax. Amount received from the family pension is exempted to the extent of one third of the pension received, or is uh, maximum of rupees fifteen thousand, whichever is less, is exempted, and the remaining is chargeable tax. Then collection charge on dividend. Here the dividend is Indian. In uh, it is dividend on shares of Indian company. As income itself is exempt, so it is not deductible. Cost of lottery tickets are not deductible. Travelling expenses for collection of the incomes are not deductible. Deductible. So now let us go for computing the income from other source. So let me take uh, three columns here. 
so particulars rupees rupees let's start one by one so salary received as mp so rupees 10000 per month multiplied by 12 months that comes to rupees uh, 1 lakh 20 thousand the daily allowance is exempt here then interest on tax free debentures of ex limited so first we need to calculate interest here so interest equals to 10 percent of rupees 36 thousand which equals to rupees 3600 so gross interest equals to net interest multiplied by 100 uh, the rate of tds here it is 10 percent so 100 minus 10 so that comes to 90 so the denominator will get here 90 here so let's substitute the values in this formula so that uh, it will be rupees 3600 multiplied by 100 people have hold divided by 90 as it is mentioned in the above formula so 90 here Ninety, so it comes to four thousand in the next one interest on bonds of unlisted unlisted uh, securities. So here we need to find out the gross interest. So gross interest equals to net interest multiplied by 100. So the rate of TDS again it remains same that is 10%. So 100 minus 10 that we are going to get here 90. Now let's substitute the values in this formula so that we are going to get here. So rupees, so we have given here 7200. So 7200 multiplied by 100 when it is divided by 90. So here the rate of TD is 10%, so 90 here. That comes to rupees 8000. 8000 then the next one here winnings from sorry interest on fixed deposits fixed deposits in bank of india so 10% of rupees one lakh fifty thousand equals to rupees fifteen thousand fifteen thousand. So as here the interest exceeds rupees ten thousand here it is to be grossed up. So gross interest equals to the same formula that will come here so net interest equals to net interest sorry net interest multiplied by 100 so again the rate of tds on the bank interest is also 10% only so 100 minus 10 that comes to 90 
So now let's substitute the values in this formula. We'll get rupees of fifteen thousand. Uh, rupees fifteen thousand multiplied by hundred. So it is to be divided by divided by ninety. So ninety here it comes to. Comes to sixteen thousand six sixty seven. So we'll get sixteen thousand six sixty point six 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 like this. So sixteen thousand six sixty seven. Next winnings from lotteries. So again uh, here we need to gross up here. So gross income equals to Net income multiplied by hundred. So the rate of DDS on casual income is thirty percent. So hundred minus thirty. So that will get seventy here. So hundred minus thirty. That we should take seventy here. So now let us substitute the values in this formula. So here we have given. Uh, Uh, the winnings from lottery it is going to seventy thousand here, so rupees seventy thousand multiplied by hundred, so hundred minus thirty divided by here it is seventy seventy, so it comes to rupees one lakh. One lakh it is. Then the next one here. Income from letting of lot. So rupees two thousand per month multiplied by seven months. So because it is purchased in the month of September, so September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So seven months. So that comes to here fourteen thousand. Then the next one. Income from letting of machinery and furniture. So it is let out at a monthly rent of is of five thousand. So rupees of five thousand. Per month multiplied by twelve, which comes to rupees sixty thousand. Then next, we have got uh, income from subletting of house, which is let out at a monthly rent of rupees two thousand per month. So two thousand per month. Multiplied by twelve, which comes to rupees uh, twenty-four thousand. Then royalty received on novel, which is given as rupees twenty-five thousand. Then the next one, income from undisclosed, undisclosed sources, rupees sixty thousand, sixty thousand. Then next, family pension received. Family pension received received so 
so it is given as 60,000 here. So from this we should give exemption, so less exemption under section 57 sub plus 2a one third of pension of rupees 60,000 which equals to rupees 20,000 or maximum of rupees 15,000 whichever is less so that is 15,000 so taxable will be 45,000 then we take the sum of this gross income the total of this will be 4,76,667 so from this we should allow deduction so less deduction deduction under section 57 so we should go on deducting the uh, those expenses which are related with the earning of the income so here uh, repairs repairs on uh, machinery and furniture that is rupees uh, 2000 then insurance rupees 1000 insurance on machinery and furniture 1000 then on depreciation depreciation on uh, machinery and furniture that is rupees uh, six of uh, uh, three thousand here then uh, similarly we have got one let me make correction here The next one we have got uh, repairs uh, rent of sublet house. So uh, here it is sublet portion here it is one fourth. So one fourth of rupees five thousand per month multiplied by twelve. That comes to rupees fifteen thousand. Then the next one similarly repairs of sublet house that is one fourth of rupees four thousand four thousand which comes to rupees one thousand then insurance insurance of a sublet house one fourth of rupees one thousand two fifty two hundred fifty so the sum of all this will be twenty two thousand two fifty so 22,250 then the difference here is income from other sources that is 4,76,667 minus 22,250 will get 4 lakh 54,417 so now let us go for the notes here 
So nos daily allowance received received as received as MP is exempt is exempted from tax under section 10 subsection 17 then dividend received from Indian company is exempted from tax under section 10 subsection 34 then expenses relating to letting of machinery and furniture and sublet are deductible then expenses relating to sublet house are deductible to the extent of to the extent of the house is sublet then collection charges are not deductible as they are incurred for as they are incurred for collecting dividend from Indian company because Indian company income is dividend from Indian company is exempted from the tax then cost of lottery tickets or uh, cost of lottery tickets and traveling charges traveling charges for collection of income are not deductible I hope all the notes are over here so let me make the answer as a bold here so that it can be distinguished from others this is an, an exhaustive problem here So this is how we need to compute the income from other source. Thank you for watching this.